Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the video of organic chemistry, especially stereochemistry. Okay, this lecture I have made from the stereochemistry and this is on the demand. Some one of you have demanded for Crane's rule and anti Crane's rule. Actually, this topic was remaining. I have made a complete playlist of stereochemistry. If you want to see the lectures of stereochemistry, a very important part of the organic chemistry. If you want to see that, then you can go to our channel Priyanka Jain. Then you can select our playlist of stereochemistry and then you can watch all the lectures. Okay. So I think you should watch the lectures before you start the Crane's rule. Okay. So let's start our lecture. What is Crane's rule and why we need it? First of all, Crane's rule is used to predict diastereoselectivity in the case of nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehydes and ketones containing asymmetric alpha carbon atom. It means, first of all, this is used to predict the diastereoselectivity. What is meaning of this diastereoselectivity? It means two isomers are formed and they are diastereomers. Okay. So, which will predominate one of them will form as a major product and other one will be present as the minor product so which will predominate is de decided by this Crane's rule okay so Crane's rule is used in the case of aldehydes and ketones that possess the asymmetric alpha carbon atom what is meaning of asymmetric alpha carbon atom it means in the neighborhood of this carbonyl group there is a chiral carbon atom this is a chiral carbon atom. Okay, chiral means three different groups are attached to it. Like one may be hydrogen, another may be phenyl, and third one is CS3. So this carbon is now chiral. Okay, and this is our carbonyl group. Now, if you are doing the nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon, okay, if you are doing this, what will happen? Here two groups will attach. Okay, suppose we are adjusting this C group by the OH group and H group okay and this CH3 in this manner okay this is the nucleophilic addition reaction okay so what happens this group also becomes chiral this carbon now becomes chiral and this carbon was also chiral so there are two chiral centers now whenever there are two chiral centers in a molecule at the neighborhood of each other then such type of the compounds will give the diastereomers okay these will be present in two forms they will be diastereomers of each other so diastereomers are generated as a result of the nucleophilic addition reaction in the aldehyde and ketones that possess asymmetric alpha chiral alpha carbon atom and which compound will be formed depends upon the Crane's rule okay which compound will predominate is decided by the Crane's rule suppose for example if you are seeing a simple aldehyde, suppose we can understand this with the help of example. Suppose we are taking a simple aldehyde and we are treating it with the Grignard reagent. Okay. In the Grignard reagent, this CS3 group will act as the nucleophile. Okay. This will attack at this carbonyl carbon. And what we are getting? CHH. On one side, we are getting CS3. On another side, we are getting OH. Okay. Now, you can see here are two hydrogen atoms. So, now this carbon is not chiral. It is achiral. So, this term, this is below the plane or this is above the plane, this does not matter. Why? Because both the compounds will be same. Suppose we are placing this CS3 group above the plane. Okay. And this OH group below the plane in this manner. You can see both this compound is achiral. Okay, so this does not matter which is present above the plane, which is present below the plane. This does not matter. Both the compounds are same. This is the same compound. Okay, this is not different. This is not an isomer. This is same compound. So here in this case of aldehyde and ketone, in the case of aldehyde, this nucleophilic addition does not result in the diastereoselectivity. Okay, see the second case. Similarly, if we are taking PHCH2, C double bond OH. Okay. And we are treating it with the CS3MGPR. Then you can see this carbon is also achiral. 
Okay, so whenever we are taking a chiral carbon atom, there is no issue. See here, in the similar manner, we are getting here CH3 and OH. Now, anyone, this can be above the plane, this can be below the plane. This does not matter. Okay, because this chir this carbon is a chiral. Okay, we can make in this method, or we can make like this. You can see here these two compounds. These two compounds are the enantiomers. So in this case, enantiomers are developed why? Because this carbon was a chiral. There was no chiral center in the neighbor root of this carbon. So two enantiomers are generated in the 50-50 amount. But if we are taking a chiral center, then what will happen? Suppose we are taking a compound like this. See here, in this compound, there is a chiral center. This is the chiral center. Okay, this is our chiral center. Now, if you are treating it with a nucleophile like Grignard reagent, CS3MGBR, if you are doing the reaction, what will happen? This CS3 can attack from above the plane or from the below the plane okay it can attack from two sides so we are getting the two type of product one condition is that this is present below the plane and our oh group is present above the plane okay and another condition may be the second condition may be this is our cs3 group okay and this oh group is now present below the plane this is below the plane okay in this manner and this compound this atom will remain as it is. Now you can see these two are the chiral centers. These two are the chiral centers. So two different compounds are generated. These are the diastereomers. Okay. Now which compound will be formed in the majority and which in the minor position? This whole thing is decided by the Crane's rule. Which product will be formed? Which is this one or this one? This we will decide with the help of Crane's rule. Okay. So, how we use the Crane's rule? For this, you will have to see the molecule along the axis. See the molecule along its axis. And the three groups that are attached to chiral centers, three groups of chiral center are designated as small by S, medium by M or large group, large by L. Okay, means the three groups that are attached to the chiral carbon atom, we will designate them as S, M and L. Okay, then the oxygen of the carbonyl group orients itself between the small and the medium size group. The oxygen of carbonyl group orients itself between small and medium group. Then what we are saying, according to Crane's rule, the incoming group preferentially attacks on the side of plane containing a small group means to say see here we are firstly making the newman's projection okay so that you can understand this whole thing this is the carbon atom of the back side okay on which a carbonyl group is attached now this is the carbon of the front side on which three groups are attached these are designated as s m and l okay now we attack the nucleophile. The nucleophile will attack from the side of the small group. It means this side. Okay, so the nucleophile is attacking from this side. So this S, M and L. Now our group is attacking from this side. Okay, this is our nucleophile. So this O will go at this side and R will remain at this side. This is the eclipsed form. You can convert it to the staggered form by the 60 degree rotation. Okay, you can rotate it by 60 degree so that this nucleophile will go here, this O will go here, and this R will go here. So, what we are getting S, M, and L, and this will be our nucleophile. This is O minus that will convert to OH group, and this is R group. So, this is the staggered form of our major product. Okay. So, in this way, the nucleophile is attacking from the less hindered side. It means from the side of the small group. We can understand this with the help of some examples. See here. For example, if we are treating alpha phenyl propionaldehyde with Grignard reagent. Okay. 
if we are doing this reaction then see here in the newman projection alpha phenyl propionaldehyde will be formed like this o group and this is the hydrogen cho group okay and alpha phenyl propionaldehyde it means one will be our methyl group one will be our phenyl group and another one will be hydrogen now we are attacking it with the grignard reagent cs3 mgpr so this cs3 group that is our nucleophile this will attack from the side of the hydrogen okay by the rotation what we are getting this hydrogen is here this is methyl group and this is phenyl group okay now our hydrogen cs3 group will come here okay and this o group this o this will go here as oh okay and here will be our hydrogen so this will be our major product but there is a problem in question paper you will have not given the newman projections you will have given the structures like this like this type of the flying wedge structures see so type of structures you will see is this type of the structure okay so you cannot use the newman projection for this what you will have to do you will have to firstly convert this to the newman projection okay and then you will have to got your answer and then you will have to again convert this one to the back to this zigzag structure okay so this is somewhat lengthy and you can get errors in this way okay so we have a trick we use the trick what is the trick what is the trick see here there is a rule okay if we are using this zigzag structure then you see the large group if the large group is sin to carbonyl group okay if our large group is sin to the carbonyl group then attack is done from medium group side it means if our large group and carbonyl group both are on the same side then we will attack the nucleophile from the medium group side okay and if the large group is anti to carbonyl group okay if it is present in the opposite side of the carbonyl group then attack is done from the small group side so by this formula you can use this formula and you can get your answer very quickly c1 y1 i am giving you the example c1 y1 for example c here ph this is the cs3 group that is above the plane and this is the hydrogen that is below the plane okay and this is cs3 double bond okay now you are treating it with the CH3 MgBr. Okay, so you have to get the product. How you can get product? So you will have to use one by one, step by step. What you will have to do? Firstly, you will have to see this carbon atom is chiral carbon atom. Okay, three groups are attached to it. So symbolize them. This will be our large group. Okay, this is our medium group, and this is our small group. Okay, now what you can do? See here. this large group and this o are sin to each other these both are sin each other okay so our nucleophile it means this csc will attack from the side of the medium group it means our medium group is present above the plane so the csc will be also above the plane okay so just you will have to make the structure ph this is above the plane csc this is below the plane hydrogen okay now at this position at this carbon you will have to make cs3 and cs3 will be above the plane because it is attacking from the side of the medium group and the oh group will go downward okay in this manner so this will be our major product see the second example ch3 et hydrogen c double bond o ch3 okay and you are treating here it with the li al h4 Li Al as for lithium aluminium hydride is actually a reducing agent. Okay, and it in this case the nucleophile will be H minus. This H minus will attack. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do, you will have to assign the L, M, and S signs. So here ethyl group is present. So this will be large group. This is methyl group. This will be medium group, and this hydrogen. This is a small group. Okay, now. 
what you can do this large group is present above the plane okay this is on not on the side of the carbonyl group so first of all what you have to do you will have to put this large group on the plane of the carbonyl group okay you will have to change its side with this m okay you have to do in this manner for this what you can do firstly see here this ethyl group that you are seeing is above the plane and this hydrogen is below the plane okay so what you can do see here always remember whenever you have given the three groups okay and one is above the plane like ethyl group so it is on the front side so you can write it here this is front side okay in the see horse formula this will go on the front side and this hydrogen is present below the plane it means it will go back side and this is the ch3 group okay now this is c double bond o ch3 okay now what you can do see here you have to rotate it by 180 degree when you are rotating it by 180 degree in this manner this ethyl will go here hydrogen will go here and ch3 will go here okay so what you are getting you are getting ch3 above okay and this hydrogen is going here and this ethyl is going here okay and this is our c double bond o ch3 now what you can do you can rotate it by 60 degree okay you are rotating it just like this so it is going in this manner so what you are getting see here this hydrogen is going here this is the ch3 group and this ethyl is here okay and the rest of the molecule will be as it is now you can see hydrogen is on the front side so we can design it above the plane and this methyl group is on the back side so it will going on the downward side it means below the plane okay and now you can see this ethyl and this carbonyl groups this means this large group and this carbonyl group are on the same side it means these two are sin to each other so our hydride it means this reagent this reagent is now attacking from the medium group side medium group is methyl okay so it is attacking from this side okay it means from below the plane so what is our product what we are getting we are getting now we are getting on this position c double bond o okay on this place what we are getting here the hydrogen will go below the plane because it is attacking and it is attacking from the medium group side okay and oh group that is generated will go front side or above the plane okay and this is the ch3 okay and now at this position you can write either in this form hydrogen ch3 and et but actually in question paper you will not have given such way okay you will have given in this manner so you can write this this complete group in this way okay you can write in this manner because this is the same so what we are writing we are writing this group as it is ch3 et hydrogen and then at this position we are making our product okay so this will be our final product that we are getting okay we have made this group as it is okay as was given to us in the question paper and here we have made the product so in this way you can make your product easily okay now see one more example okay suppose this is our compound and we are treating it with a c2h5 mgbr so the c2h5 is our nucleophile okay this is attacking now you can see first of all you will have to design l m and s this is large group this is l this is medium group this is m and this is hydrogen this is the small group okay so now what you have to do see here this large group and the carbonyl group these are now in the same plane we have already given do both are in the same plane and on the same side these are sin to each other so our ch2h5 group will attack from the side of this medium group see this medium group is above the plane okay so we will make our product c and here at the place of carbonyl group okay we are putting here c2h5 above the plane c2h5 okay and oh group will go below the plane in this manner this is hydrogen 
and on this side we will make as it is okay so this will be our product now see the next example see here this is given to us okay now you can see in this group this is large one this is medium and this is small okay so you can see this o group this carbonyl group and this phenyl group are anti to each other in the opposite direction anti okay now our reagent is c6h5 mgbr okay so nucleophile will be ph minus okay c6h5 is our nucleophile and that will attack from the side of small group why because our large group and the carbonyl group are anti to each other so this nucleophile is now attacking from the side of the small group and small group is below the plane so what you will have to do you will have to make this phenyl group below the plane because this is the attacking group okay so oh group will come out side it means above the plane and this is hydrogen on this carbon atom we will make same structure as it is this is ch3 and this is our phenyl group okay so you can see you are getting a 3o product because same type of groups are on the opposite side so you are getting a 3o compound okay this is our major product now see the next example one more example okay you can see several more examples in the books okay in cladden caruthers you can find its different examples i am giving some of you here see here this is our compound and we are treating it with the lialh4 okay so our nucleophile will be this hydride okay see here this is the large group this is medium group and this is small group you can see the large group and co groups are anti to each other okay whenever the group are anti then the nucleophile will attack from the side of small group it means hydride will attack from the small group side it means below the plane so this hydride will go below the plane oh group will come front side and this is phenyl group okay this is hydrogen this is methyl group and this is phenyl group so you can see in this product both the phenyl groups are on the same same side so this is the erythro product so in this way you can make different products you, you can use the cranes rule and you can make different products in a similar way okay so another examples you can get from the question papers and you can do now we comes to the anti cranes rule anti cranes rule anti cranes rule is also known as the cranes kelet model it means whenever a different product we are getting this is called cranes rule this happens whenever the kelets are formed actually when kelets are formed actually what happens if alpha carbon atom has a group containing lone pair of electron then what can happen then in that case we will use cranes kelet model okay whenever we have given alpha carbon atom as a group containing lone pair of electrons what are these groups these groups may be oh group this has lone pair of electrons this group may be oxide group okay this group may be nr2 nitrogen has lone pair of electrons this may be nh2 this may be co nh2 or this may be sh sulfur has lone pair of electrons or this may be sr group or this may be s group sulfide this type of groups if these groups are present but we will not consider halogens halogens are not included so we can say besides the halogen all other groups that possess the lone pair of electrons if any of these groups is present then we will consider these as the large group okay we will consider them as the large group and second thing is that if the nucleophile has a metal that can form the chelate okay what are the chelating metals which can form chelates so if the nucleophile has a metal that can form chelates like mg plus 2 zinc plus 2 cu plus 2 mn plus 2 and ce plus 3 ti plus 4 these groups are present and sometimes lithium also okay lithium can also sometimes can form the chelate 
so if these metals are present that can form the chelates in that case anti krems rule is applied or krems chelate model is applied but remember one thing that sodium and potassium if you have given these these do not form chelate so do not consider because these are not forming the chelates so we will not consider them okay these are non chelating metals so only when we have given mg plus 2 zinc plus 2 cu plus 2 mn plus 2 ce plus 3 ti plus 4 or lithium in that case we will consider these lone pair containing groups as the large group okay and what you will have to do you will have to keep this lone pair containing group sin 2 carbonyl group okay first of all you will have to put this lone pair containing group sin 2 c double bond o group okay and then nucleophile nucleophile will attack from small group side for example you can consider one example i am taking here ch3 c double bond o and here is oh and this is h okay this is lone pair containing group oh group is present here this is lone pair containing group okay now we are treating it with the zn bh4 whole twice okay this is just like nabh4 it is also a reducing agent so what you will do here how you can put how you can find out what is the diastereoselectivity so for this you will have to firstly see this group we have given this group cs3 c double bond o now we have given here this is the ethyl group okay so this is the ethyl group okay and here oh group is present on the above the plane so this is present on the front side put it front side and this hydrogen is present back side it means below the plane so put it here okay now you what you can do you will have to rotate it okay you will have to rotate it so that this oh group can get on the sin side of co group we will have to make this oh group on the side of co group for this how we can rotate we will rotate in this manner okay we will rotate in this manner so what we are getting we are getting cs3 c double bond o and then here we are getting here oh group here ethyl group and here oh group okay now we will make attack of the hydride ion now what you have to do you will have to attack from the side of the small group this is our small group okay so we will have to make attack from this side it means from front side or above the plane so what we are getting see here c ch3 and this hydrogen will go on the side of this hydrogen it means above the plane okay and oh group will go down the side okay and at this position we will have to put the groups as it is either you can put it in this manner et h oh okay but in the question paper you will have given in this manner so you will have to write in this manner it means you can write here this is oh this is hydrogen this is ethyl group this is cs3 and now here you can make this hydrogen above the plane and this oh below the plane okay so this will be your final product okay so just you will have to keep in mind whenever you have given a lone pair containing group then you will have to make this group on the side of co group and you will have to make attack from the side of small group okay this is anti krems rule and krems rule i have given you different type of the examples okay i think this topic will be now very very clear in your mind if you have any problem you can ask me you can comment me and if you are liking the videos please share these videos with the other students thank you